Hey guys, home workout number 60, six zero. We made it, 60 days of home workouts. We have a special guest today for you guys. I know you're gonna be super excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Come on down, Cassidy. Here she is, guys. She's gonna help us demo. We have a lot of different movements today. So the way it's gonna work is it'll be a five minute running clock, and then you'll have a one minute rest for four rounds. We're gonna do 30 seconds per movement. Some movements will be a score of reps and it's max effort. Some will just be total time. But we're gonna start out with 30 seconds of jumping jacks. We know these, we remember PE class growing up. That'll be great to get our heart rate up, get us going. Then we're doing 30 seconds of wall sit calf raises, sitting on that wall. However far apart your feet are, that's okay. That's up to you, whatever you prefer. And we're just doing calf raises while we're against that wall. After that, we're going to 30 seconds of chair dips or couch dips. You're just gonna drop those shoulders down to about parallel with the elbow. The further out your feet get, the harder it is, the closer your feet are to your butt. You can actually use your feet to help support you while you're doing those chair dips. Then we've got 30 seconds of flutter kicks. If your hands are straight out in front of you, that's one option. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, you're gonna bring your hands back to over your head. If you want it even a little bit easier, you can go ahead and tuck those hands under your butt and then use that to support as you're doing those flutter kicks. Then we've got 30 seconds of pike push-ups. So it's like, like a regular push-up, and then as you come up, you're gonna pike your hips back and up. Then you come back down, push-up, pike, and up. Come back down, Push up, pike, and then up. Then after that, you're right here, so we're gonna stay right here, and you're just gonna go into 30 seconds of supermans or back extensions. So we're thinking about as much flexion as possible. You don't wanna get loosey-goosey and start flopping up and down like a dead fish, but you just want to reach out, flex your back, flex your glutes, flex your hamstrings, flex your calves, point your toes. Um, after that, we're gonna go into alternate. We're still staying right where we are. Uh, elbow to knee touch. So you're gonna plank, and then you're just gonna pull your elbow and your knee together as you're in that plank. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Then we have 30 seconds of reverse sit-ups. Cass can use the couch if she wants for some extra support. But basically what we're doing is we're bringing our feet up, heels to the heavens, and then feet out. So we're gonna be in constant core contraction here as we're doing these reverse sit-ups. Um, then we're going into a plank tricep extension. So going from the plank position on your elbows, on your elbows, good. <laughs> and then you're just extending your triceps. Cass is going from her knees. That's totally okay, a little bit easier, easier variation. I don't like it. If you want to go for the RX variation, I'm going from my triceps in that full plank position, and I'm just pressing up. Triceps down, press up, down, up, just like that. That's going to be really intense on the triceps, and it's also going to be real core intensive as well. And then our final movement is we're going to the bottom of the squat, and then we're going to try and just pulse a little bit here. So if you want a little bit of extra, you're just pulsing in the bottom of the squat for 30 seconds. So it's gonna be legs, it's gonna be core, and it's gonna be triceps today, all right? Should be a pretty fun one. We're going through that four times. So five minutes work, one minute rest, four times through, all right? Good luck, hope you guys enjoy this one.